Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with the essential, the ultimate, Chopin. Now, as you know, I have been running through this series. Some of you have said, put this closer so we can see it. There. There it is. I mean, these are five discs for the price of one. It's a very, very good deal. But some of these are just horribly chosen and the performances suck. And they're just, you know, they threw them together at random. They're really bad. This is not. This is one of the good ones. So let me tell you very briefly, it's a very simple thing what's in here. And I think its, it's excellence will be self-evident. I really do. You get the two piano concertos with Jorge Bolet and the Montreal Symphony Orchestra in Dutois. Now, this is not... Boulette, Boulette's best. I mean, he was at the end of his career when he made these performances, when he made these recordings, but he doesn't disgrace himself. They're decent. They're decent. I mean, he's no Martha Argerich. I mean, you know, everybody will have their favorites in these works, or Christian Zimmerman, or, you know, Emmanuel Axe with Macaris, or, you know, but, but they're decent. They're solid, and, and they, they get the job done. So I'm not complaining overtly. But the rest of this stuff is just fantastic. You get the complete nocturnes and the ballads with Ashkenazi. Now, I've just talked about the big Ashkenazi box, and we all know that Ashkenazi's Chopin is generally terrific. Really first rate, imaginative and beautiful and sensitive and all of those things. So those are fine, and that's two more discs. Disc four, you get the preludes and the impromptus with Claudio Arau. And the nice thing about these is that you get to hear very, very different pianists. And Arau had such a characteristic tone, such a deep, dark, burnished tone. And his preludes are very, very serious. They're totally different from like most people's preludes, which are sort of light and fluffy. And these aren't at all, but they are brilliantly done. And boy, those bass lines, oh my God, just the left hand alone. The right hand is a bonus. <laughs> They're worth hearing for the left. And then finally, you get the waltzes, of course, because you've got to have the minute waltz and the C-sharp minor waltz with Zoltan Kotschus. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Kotschus, of course, was a genius in many ways and a genius as a pianist and as a keyboard artist. And his Chopin waltzes are among the best that are out there. And so uh, that's five discs of absolutely first-rate Chopin. And I have no issue with, with, with the selection of works. I, I think it was very intelligent. I think they managed to cover a lot of his most popular pieces. Yes, the second sonata is not there. Yeah, it would have been nice. And Ashkenazi does a great one, I think. And there are a few other things. You know, some people might want the scherzos instead of the ballades. You might want some polonaises instead of the nocturnes. You might want some etudes, you know, because so much of what Chopin wrote is incredibly popular. But this, so this is not ultimate. There's nothing ultimate about it. There's not enough here. It's essential. It comes close. It comes very, very, very close. So I am extremely happy to be able to recommend this if you can get it for the price. Remember, it's one, the price of one disc for five. I see these on Amazon. They range anywhere from $18, which is about right, to like 60 which is patently insane. And I, I don't get that at all. Remember, you get no notes, you get nothing extra, it's just a straight disc, and that's it, in a box, and that's the whole deal. So if that suits you, then you're in very, very good shape. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.